Hey, 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 back again for you. Give you a little bit of uh, action on some tips that um, is going to help you actually get more clients. Actually, between, I would say, 50% to 80% uh, closing more deals. So if you want to know, put uh, show me boss down below, right? Just kidding. So um, go ahead and give me a like though. So here's why a lot of people um, actually have a pretty low uh, closing percentage. A lot of coaches when they're, when they're getting into the fitness coaching, right? So you have your conversations with your prospects and um, you might get a certain amount that actually jump into a strategy call with you, right? Where you're doing your, your sales calls, where you go over your presentation. Your presentation may be good, it may suck, it may need some work, but either way, um, that's not what we're going to be discussing right now is the actual presentation, but we're going to be discussing some other things that can help you get those extra clients. So um, the average coach gives up with their first, between their first and their, four, and their fourth objection. So let's just say the client says, I need to think about it. I need to talk to my spouse. Um, you know, I don't have the time. Anything like that, right? Most coaches, they, they freeze or they might ask, you know, one or two rebuttals. And then after that, they, they give up. Right. And then it's a, a done deal. And, um, you know, obviously the prospect is on their way. And, you know, obviously we never we never hear from them again. So actually what you need to do is you need to be able to do one specific thing. Do you know what it is? Comment below if you think you know what it is to close more deals. Let me see if I can see it. All right. Let's see, let's see. So I'm just gonna tell you right now, the power of closing more deals is gonna be having more touch points, right? So um, you need minimum four to um, increase your, your closing percentage. So you need to overcome the rebuttals at least four times. So overcome four no's, right? And if they get off the phone with you or the Zoom or whatever you're doing, then you're gonna have to do one thing and that is a follow up. So many coaches are not doing proper follow-up, right? And so what's happening is the prospects are forgetting about you. And, and obviously when they're on their phone, they're like, yeah, um, coach, I'll, I'll definitely let you know when, when anything changes or when things get better, you know, I'll get in touch with you. But this never happens. And this is right. Um, the the B-backs don't bring the, the green backs if you don't do your follow-up with them. So a lot of chances, the reason why people don't enroll with you is not because they can't afford it. It's because they don't know, like, and trust you yet, right? So you haven't nurtured them enough. So there's going to be a couple different ways that you can do some extra nurturing. So one is obviously to have a very high value Facebook group where you can actually add them to the Facebook group and give constant value in there so they can get to know you a little bit more, okay? The other one is going to be one of those methods that is not dead despite what you know so many people say and it's called email marketing, right? So um, if you have a email list and you're not nurturing your list between one to three times a week, then you are basically leaving money on the table because for every, every person in your email list, as long as it's you know somebody that's gonna be in your niche, right? That can be an additional minimum $10 a month, right? Ten, between 10 to $100, it just depends upon you know, how well you're doing with your nurturing, how, how well that they need your product and so forth. But you need to provide the touch points. So I would suggest at least one to three emails because then by the time that they've been watching your emails, right, and it's been maybe 12 touch points, now they might be at a point where they're like, oh my God, this person, this coach really freaking knows what they're talking about and I'm ready to make that step. So you have to be able to actually pull on the heartstrings and don't be afraid to dig the knife a little bit, right? Tell them what they're missing out on. You have to find out if, if they are feeling like, like crap, right? They're sluggish, they're lethargic, um, and they're overweight, and they're not fitting in their clothes. They're, they don't like how they look and feel when they get out of the shower. They're not intimate with their spouse. Point that out in your emails. Don't tiptoe around trying to like not hurt their feelings or anything like that. You're going to have to. You're going to have to be bold. You're going to have to point out you know, where they're deficient. You're going to have to pull on the heartstrings a little bit, and then you're going to have to show why you are the solution to their problems. So you're gonna have to nurture and you're gonna have to give them lots of free advice, right? Don't be afraid to give out free content. That is how people are gonna be drawn to you, right? And so that alone will, over the long haul, help you close between 50 to 80%, 50 to 80% more deals. So many people will continue 
to enroll with you in the follow-up. There's people that have been you know, on my list for over 12 months before they finally actually take that step and, and book a strategy call or, or do an enrollment or, or you know, get that next thing, right? So if you're not already having your email list, creating an email list, nurturing your leads. So every single person that you have a strategy call with, if you are not getting their phone number and you, you are not getting their email, then once again, you are throwing money in the fire. You are literally throwing it away because all you have to do is collect the email, put it in an email autoresponder, send an email out to your list one to three times a week. Just get in there on Sunday and basically create you know, a few emails for the week and then you can program it to you know, automatically send out. You don't have to do it manually, right? If you need any help with how to do that, how to create your email, how to create your nurture list, you know, shoot me a message and just put, um, put help me below, right? And so um, we can get into conversation. I can go over some steps on how you can email your list and how you can create the whole nurture series. Simple steps. I have a nine-step formula that helps you generate 27 emails very easily, okay? So if you need help, I'm here for you. Um, but otherwise, I uh, hope this was helpful. Go ahead and uh, give me a comment below if it was. Talk to you soon, folks. Bye.